Once, there is nothing. Then, two hackers by the names of Red Samurai and Sienna Cliff were created. For a few weeks, they existed in peace, but then they became lonely. So, they decided to test their abilities and opened a portal that allowed regular players, unlike themselves, to join the world. Even though the hackers were lonely, they decided to make an extremely fortified base that regular players couldn't get into. It had everything. Infinite supplies, a massive, indestructible wall, and even a battle arena where the hackers often practiced their fighting skills. The hackers lived like this for a few weeks, even summoning other hackers such as Serendor. But then, a quality in Sienna Cliff that would become very important later on caused him to teleport a random civilian to the hacker base. There was peace between the two groups for a while. The hackers and civilians practiced their fighting skills with each other. But then, a civilian named Ugly Man would compromise the base, forcing all the hackers to move out. You see, one day, while the hackers and civilians were busy fighting each other, Ugly snuck into the main part of the base and stole countless numbers of shulker boxes and illegal items. And what Red Samurai found out, he had to move. So the hackers said their final goodbyes to this base and went their separate ways. Disabled VR, a new addition to the hacker team, made a castle, and the rest of the hackers created a floating base far out in the end dimension made of indestructible bedrock. While the hackers lived in this end base, many civilians were becoming ill at ease with the hackers' rule. So a few civilians, including Falcon, Shadow, and many more, created an anti-hackers team called the Yellow Jackets. Their mission was to destroy the rest of the hackers and let normal civilians rule. So when the Yellow Jackets found the hackers' newly built base, the hackers were forced to relocate once again. This time, the hackers decided to completely close off the end dimension to normal players and build their base right at spawn. This base was to be bigger and better than either of its predecessors, and after much work, it was done. It had a courthouse, prison, throne room, and much, much more. At this point, Sienna Cliff was becoming a bit agitated that the hackers kept relocating, but he knew the base would be secure. Later that day, Red Samurai decided to put a normal player on trial for doing absolutely nothing, and again, Sienna Cliff cooperated. When Sienna Cliff saw the unfairness of the court system Red Samurai had created, he started to consider leaving the hacker team. And after Red Samurai went off to do other things around the server, Sienna Cliff and a few followers hatched a plan. Unfortunately, Serendor, who is still loyal to the hacker team, overheard Sienna Cliff's plan and went to go tell Red Samurai. When Red Samurai heard of this news, he reacted with anger and stripped Sienna Cliff of his hacker abilities, his powerful items, and his place on the hacker team. Sienna Cliff was forced to live among the normal players and quickly joined forces with the Yellow Jackets. They built a base together and eventually discovered some very important information. You see, before Sienna Cliff left the hacker team, Red Samurai gave him a clue to find the truth about the hackers. So Sienna Cliff decided to pursue this clue. And after thinking about this for a long time, Sienna Cliff deduced that the clue was referencing the first ever hacker base. And so he began his journey to the roots of the hackers. Upon arrival, the book told Sienna Cliff that all hackers get their life force from a central command block, and if this command block is destroyed, the hacker the command block is linked to would be transformed back into a regular player. Also, the book said that Red Samurai's command block was being kept in the central part of the new base he had begun construction on. Sienna Cliff once again thought about this for a long time, and meanwhile, the Yellow Jackets would search for and soon discover the location of the base Red Samurai had recently completed. The Yellow Jackets alerted Sienna Cliff of this newest discovery, and Sienna Cliff knew 
then now is his chance to invade the hacker base and destroy the central command block once and for all. And after the Yellow Jackets constructed a temporary base close to the hacker base, it was time. The plan was simple. The Yellow Jackets would distract the hackers while Sienna Cliff snuck into the hacker base and destroyed the central command block. Security of this new base was high, so Sienna Cliff had to be careful. But then, disaster. Red Samurai discovered the Yellow Jackets' temporary base, and the Yellow Jackets had to evacuate. Sienna Cliff was caught and put on trial by Red Samurai inside the newly built hacker base. And since the court system Red Samurai had created was still unfair, Sienna Cliff was sentenced to life in a high security jail. But before being taken to jail, Sienna Cliff was given a tour of the new hacker base. Red Samurai was very proud to show off everything. Parts of the original hacker base, parts from other builds the civilians had made, and much more. Sienna Cliff tried many times to escape during the tour, but was caught each time and eventually sent to prison. Sienna Cliff saw no way out of this. His team stood no chance against the hackers, and there was no way to break out of the prison. Sienna Cliff sat and thought about the decisions he had made throughout this time he had spent in the world. The ruling over the citizens and having power, the betrayal for what was right, and now how he had gotten so close to taking down the hackers, but was stuck here forever. But then, a new player named E. Foxy would join the world, join the side of Sienna Cliff, and break him out of prison. You see, the hackers feared that this new player wouldn't listen to their command and authority. So they put him in the same prison cell as Sienna Cliff, hoping this would make him obey. But E. Foxy and Sienna Cliff worked together, and Sienna Cliff was able to escape. But before Sienna Cliff could help E. Foxy out of the cell, the two heard the footsteps of Red Samurai walking down the hall, and E. Foxy told Sienna Cliff to go without him. Sienna Cliff hesitated and reluctantly agreed, but promised to return for E. Foxy one day. Sienna Cliff hid in the corner of the prison, and as Red Samurai walked into the room, slipped past, and ran for the exit, Sienna Cliff barely escaped. After this, Sienna Cliff built a new hideout close to the hacker base. Sienna Cliff felt awful that he had caused E. Foxy to be thrown in prison instead of himself, so he didn't return to the Yellow Jacket base or make any sort of contact with them so no one else would get hurt. Sienna Cliff planned to infiltrate the hacker base first thing in the morning. The next day, before Sienna Cliff could begin his infiltration of the hacker base, the Yellow Jackets found him and supplied him with items. They begged Sienna Cliff to allow them to join him on his mission that day. But Sienna Cliff explained that if there were more than one person, that they would be detected by a high level of hacker security. So the Yellow Jackets agreed to stay back and wish Sienna Cliff the best on his mission. Once Sienna Cliff had bypassed the outer levels of security the hackers had installed, he was inside the base. Sienna Cliff walked around the base for a few moments, trying to find the central end crystal, but then there it was. A massive, nearly indestructible bedrock crystal that Sienna Cliff knew housed the power source of the hackers. Sienna Cliff walked to the very tip of the end crystal and fell inside a hole at the top. Inside the crystal were two scales, one reading, tread only if you are a true hacker, and the other reading, deposit the rarest item, one that cannot be destroyed. Sienna Cliff let his instincts take over depositing the dragon egg, the rarest item in the game, on the first scale. The light flashed green, signaling that he had gotten the first one correct. But then, tread only if you are a true hacker? Sienna Cliff knew he was once a hacker, but since his powers had been stripped, he was just a regular player. Or so he thought. Once again, acting on instinct, he stepped onto the second scale, and the second light flash green. He had done it. A secret door opened in between the scales, and Sienna Cliff walked inside. There were many command blocks and wires inside, but Sienna Cliff knew the blue command block at the center of everything else was the one. All he needed to do now 
was break the command block. But how? Since becoming a regular player, he hadn't been able to break the command blocks. But for the third time, acting on instinct, Sienna Cliff took a step forward, punched the command block, and it broke. He had done it. Sienna Cliff could already feel himself getting stronger. Or maybe it was just his imagination. Reflecting back on the trials he had faced a moment ago, Sienna Cliff realized that he couldn't have been able to do all of the things he did as a normal player. He was a hacker all along, but because he didn't realize it until now, he had never attempted any of the hacker privileges or powers. But he had still saved the world. Red Samurai and his closest followers were put into prison. E Foxy was let out of prison, and Sienna Cliff ruled fairly, and everyone became happy. At least for the moment.